You guys are gonna like this half inch plate getting cut by the piranha. Is this thing about to jump? No, it will when I punch the hole in it. Oh. Oh, like butter on half inch. Let me get back here. <laughs> gotta be careful with ladders around here. He'll get you. <laughs> Doomsday device. <laughs> Is that from when you were looking for your trim nailers? Yes. Yeah, because they were all stacked up against it. Alright, so, like I said, nice thick piece of plate. Butter. Now the fun part's here in just a couple minutes when I mark it out and punch the holes in it. Is that when the piranha's gonna jump? Oh, yeah, it jumps like Don't hit me with the ladder, please. I'm not wearing a helmet. I've already completely used up my number of allotted concussions. So, try not to get any more. When you look down here in this catch tray, man, some of the stuff that this thing just cuts through, like butter. Having access to one of these is nice. Oh, this is going to be fun. So these are going to be mounts for uh, leaf springs on a trailer. Die out of alignment. I know why. I know why. The center needs to clean out. There's nowhere for the pieces to go. Mm. Oh, those don't fit through? There's a hammer in my tool cart. It's like three steps away. I got a hammer right here. Yeah, but one day you're gonna bend that, and then you're not gonna be able to swap dies out on this. I'll make a new one. I can already see all the safety knots. Why did you shut the machine off with your fingers? I mean, the machine won't just operate itself. There are two handles. I'm not touching one. He's not touching the other. We're good. Well, the other one's not on. Oh, you didn't even have that one on. Oh, even better. Well, see, look, there's safety built into it. You got a little black on the head. Yeah, if you're not in constant fear of losing a finger in the shop, I mean, then you're going to lose one. That's how it works. Seriously, there, there's a hammer right behind you. Yeah, but I'm going to need to I don't have those in my roll cart. It's getting serious now. It's got the hard freight hammer out. Yeah, this is the most likely you are to get hurt, is right now. Hey, don't punch it now. We'll leave that back in there. Ready? Yep. Watch the machine when this thing goes. This whole thing jumps. You can feel it through the shop. Ready? Yep. Half 
So we want a sixteenth of an inch over what this thing is rated to punch in that thick of plate. Well, yeah. I, I told you, everything I buy, I push it past its limits. I mean, I'm pretty sure the limiting factor here is probably a hydraulics on this setup. Everything else seems pretty stout. Yeah. I mean, if I it starts bleeding on the floor, then we know we pushed it too far. I have blown the cylinder apart once. Only once. That's actually kind of impressive. So these are the I mounts that we are uh, recreating here. Uh, this axle decided to uh, bend itself the hell out of the way. But you want to hold one of your plates up next to the stock mounting plates? Oh yeah, we were, the old ones were quarter. We're going to half. Yeah. So this is a pretty good size equipment trailer. Well, it's and got 12,000 pound axles under it. It ripped one mount completely off and it just twisted the other one. The whole front axle was just shifted. You gonna weld the bolt in? No. Hmm. So we're even smarter than the first guy. Who, yeah, I mean, you can kind of see the problems here. Actually using strong tubing, not glorified exhaust pipe like they did. Yeah, it's Schedule 80 steel pipe. If it broke once, if you rebuild it this way, it'll break again. So obviously, overbuild it. The guy that owns this trailer, he's got... He pulls a dozer with it. Yeah, so <laughs> the trailer definitely sees some weight in use. Not a little dozer, like a, a big dozer. Like it's a D8. Yeah, it's an excavating company that has this. So this trailer pretty much just lives its entire life getting abused. It's like something I would own. Pretty much. So do you only weld in puddles when you're inside? Yeah. Okay. It's the outdoor puddles we gotta watch for. I'm pretty sure with those two tack welds, that's already got more structure than the old one did new. I already get to play with the new tractor here. Got a jack on one side and this on the other holding up that axle. Get ready to cut it so we can lower it down. So we're getting the other side of that front leaf spring mount torched out of this trailer because it's all bent from when this side broke and the axle twisted. You okay? It just rained fire on me, it's no big deal. That looks great. <laughs> it's a lot better than uh, how it came in here. Yep, yep, yep. At least this side was still on the trailer. This one was just, you know, twisted Barely. in ten different directions. It, only one of the plates was connected. Yeah. It's still better than the other side where none of it was. <coughs> That'll hold it.
you know what? Let me have that little die grinder. I'm going to clean the surface of this rust up so it's easy. I can't tell if I'm smelling my burnt hair or burnt skin. It's all the same. Ow! Right in my belly! <laughs> 